Well, it's another day of uh, another out and about for you guys, and uh, it is disc replay time, people. Let's go in this bad boy and see what we can find up in here. All right, guys, I am now back home with my movie pickups, and uh, this was a fantastic score. We got a lot of DVDs, Blu-rays, and 4Ks here, um, even a couple documentaries. Uh, not only did I go to Disc Replay, but I also hit up FYE and Best Buy. Most of them, though, I uh, was able to pick up at Best Buy. I only found one at Disc Replay. And there's uh, you know, a lot of good deals going on, so I uh, scored pretty good on them. And also, uh, I want to say most of these films, I got quite a bit of them, are Jackie Chan films because I've been far behind on his movies and I needed to catch up. So yeah, there's a lot of Jackie Chan in here today. <laughs> Just the Jackie Chan movie day, I would say. But anyways, uh, let's move this to the side. Let's see what I got. I guess we'll start off with the uh, FYE bag. What's in the bag? So first up here for $3.99, I got the tuxedo with Jackie Chan and uh, what's her name? Jennifer Love Hewitt, I believe. I uh, Yeah, Jennifer Love Hewitt. I haven't seen her in a movie in a while. So uh, I wonder what's up with her. But I think this is brand new, even though it says used, $3.99 is a little bit high price for used. But it's still got the security device sticker on there, so I think maybe it's brand new, I'm not sure. But yeah, we got the tuxedo, old school Jackie Chan. And the other one that I picked up is a Hong Kong film called uh, Seven Swords. Special Collector's Edition from Dragon Dynasty, which I believe is uh, no longer around. And this film, I believe, is also out of print. Blu-ray here. I have it on DVD, but this was in the uh, great value area. So I didn't actually pay $6.99 for it. So originally it was $14.99. Then it says $6.99. But in the great value, I'll grab my receipt. Take a look. Let's see here. Dragon Dynasty Seven Swords. I paid seventy-four cents. Well, seventy-eight cents with tax, which is a steal. It's like giving it away. And like I said, I believe the you know this is out of print. It's a Donnie Yen film, and I was like, "Yep, we're gonna get it." <laughs> okay, now we're gonna move on to the big bag. Now, here's the one and only film I picked up at this replay, which is uh, the remake of the original Karate Kid. Uh, Karate Kid with uh, Jackie Chan and Jaden Smith, $4.99, which isn't too bad, I guess. And the uh, 
special features and there's some exclusive uh, Blu-ray special features there an alternate ending with a Jackie Chan fight which I have seen pretty good uh, I only seen this film like once a long time ago and it's alright there's the inside it's an alright movie okay next up now the rest of these I uh, got from Best Buy next up here is uh, Round the World in 80 Days Another Jackie Chan film. Now this one, I don't, I don't think they ever put on Blu-ray. Or else I would have went after the Blu-ray version. Which I don't know why. They should have put this one on Blu-ray. Next up here we got... Uh, if you focus. We got a movie called Bleeding Steel. Haven't seen this one yet. I have seen the trailer for it. It looks, you know, kind of cool, different. With Jackie Chan. Next up here, we got the Criterion release of uh, Police Story 1 and 2 with Jackie Chan. This is the uh, Blu-ray Special Edition. This is a fantastic set to have. Loaded with special features, man. Look at that. That's crazy. I mean, it's it's loaded up. But Criterion always does a uh, good job with their Blu-rays. So, heck yeah. Had to get it. Next up, uh, we got another Jackie Chan film with John Crusack and uh, Adrian Brody called Dragon Blade. Haven't seen this one yet either. I've seen some of the fight scenes on YouTube, though. It looks decent. Next up, we got uh, New Police Story, uh, which is pretty good. With Jackie Chan. Next up, we got a documentary here, Cocaine Cowboys. Now, this, one, this looks badass. I haven't seen it yet, but I've seen clips of it on YouTube, and it looks awesome and uh, this is the uh, reloaded with a uh, version with over 60 minutes of new material which is awesome so if you're into that whole uh, Miami drug scene through the uh, late 70s early 80s you might want to check this out it looks badass I'm definitely looking forward to watching this documentary Co cocaine cowboys and they made a sequel, which I went after. But they don't have it on Blu-ray, so I just had to get it on DVD, which is uh, Cocaine Cowboys 2, Hustling with the Godmother. Yeah, buddy. This one also looks really good. Powerful. They got clips of this on uh, YouTube as well. Um, but what's her name? Grazita Blanco. Yeah, she was a powerful like drug lord back in the day. Uh, they got a making of and stuff. So, yeah, two documentaries there. Okay, next up here, we got a 4K of um, and Blu ray of Birds of Prey. Heck yeah, Harley Quinn. Next up here, we got. Hellboy. This is the uh, 2019 Hellboy. I think it's a... I'm not sure if it's a reboot or a remake. But I've seen parts of this on uh, YouTube and it looks kick-ass. Uh, there's some Blu-ray exclusives there. Three-part documentary right on. Blu-ray and DVD. Next up here we got Joker. Which made a boatload of money at the box office, 4K and the Blu-ray. And I'm definitely looking forward to watching this because I haven't seen it yet. 
So heck yeah, man. Next up, we got uh, Rumble in the Bronx, Blu-ray, old school Jackie Chan, which I did see at the theaters um, back in, I think it hit 96. So like I just turned like 17 and I went and seen this bad boy. It's a really good movie. A lot of cool fight scenes in it. Next up, we got uh, Lita, Battle Angel. We got the uh, Blu-ray 3D plus the 4K and the regular Blu-ray. This movie looks pretty good. I'm looking forward to checking this out. Oh, yeah. Next, we got uh, another Jackie Chan film, uh, Skip Trace, with Johnny Knoxville. Haven't seen this one yet. Right on. Move some of these over so I can make room. Okay. Next up here, we got Mr. Nice Guy. Another one that I've seen at the theaters, but this is the extended original cut. And which I haven't seen, which is cool, which I'm glad they did this because, you know, a lot of Jackie Chan films that came here to the U.S. got cut down, you know, and a lot of us want to see the full uncut version. So it's good to see that at least Mr. Nice Guy is uh, got the extended original cut. It'd be nice if they did the same with uh, Rumble in the Bronx and also Jackie Chan's First Strike. Along with, uh, you know, quite a few of his other ones, like Super Cop and Twin Dragons. Anyways, uh, next up we got, on 4K and Blu-ray, Full Metal Jacket. Yeah, buddy. A classic 80s war film. Stanley Kubrick. Hell yeah, man. That guy's awesome. Yes. Powerful movie. Very good. Looking forward to it. Next, we got uh, Men in Black International. Haven't seen this one yet. Looks pretty good. Oh, yeah. Next, we got another Jackie Chan film, The Medallion. cool movie. Scott Atkins is in this before he was really known. He has a fight scene with Jackie. Next up, we got another Jackie Chan film called uh, Railroad Tigers. Haven't seen this one yet either. I'm sure it's pretty decent. Next, we got The Foreigner with Jackie Chan. Now, this one looks really powerful, really good. Haven't seen it. I am definitely looking forward to it. I heard it got really good reviews. And hell yeah. Next, we got the Blu-ray and DVD of uh, Mortal Kombat Legends, Scorpion's Revenge. All new animated movie, R-rated. Hell yeah. Been looking forward to uh, picking this one up. Obviously, since I'm a big Mortal Kombat fan. Next, I picked up the uh, director's cut on Blu-ray of Dr. Sleep. Which looks pretty damn good. It's a long-ass movie, too. I mean, look at that. The theoretical version is like, what, two and a half hours? And the director's cut is like an extra half an hour. So it's like three hours long. It's crazy. <laughs> but that's cool. On Blu-ray. Next, we got another Jackie Chan film called uh, The Night of Shadows. This one looks uh, pretty interesting. I've seen the trailers on it. 
It's like he's fighting dragons and, I don't know, wizards and shit. I don't know. It's, it's not your typical Jackie Chan movie, that's for sure. But it looks interesting. Next, we got the movie Uncut Gems, which looks really good. Really powerful. I heard nothing but great reviews from this uh, film. Adam Sandler, yeah. It's a very different role than what we're used to. Definitely looking forward to this one. Hell yeah. And uh, we're down to the last one. Here, which is... Um, Jackie Chan Double Pack, uh, Shanghai Noon and Shanghai Nights, which I've seen both at the theaters. They're pretty good films. Hell yeah, so they're loaded up with special features, which is cool. Hell yeah. So, uh, anyways, guys, yeah, there you have it. Those are my uh, DVD, Blu-ray, and 4K pickups, mostly Jackie Chan movies. And quite a few of these I haven't seen. And I am definitely looking forward to checking out the uh, Cocaine Cowboys documentaries here. Hell yeah, man. Definitely going to pop these on right away. Uh, but yeah, that is it for my pickups, guys. It's a big Jackie Chan day. Uh, that's it for now. I'm out of here. And uh, you all have a kick-ass day. Later.